I wanted to share with you some quick tips in iOS 7. These are some of the features that are a little bit harder to find that I either found through reading online or through playing with my iPhone. But I'll just give you a quick rundown of six shortcuts on how to get to certain features that you may have had in the previous version or uh, Apple has added in this new version of iOS 7. The first is Spotlight, the way you search your iPhone. It used to be hidden in the far left screen, but if you'll swipe anywhere in the center of a screen, you'll get the search window. And so if I were to type in a search term like Georgia, it would pull up all the tracks in iTunes that have Georgia in it. Or if I were to search for an app like Pandora, then it pulls up the app so I can see it. And when you get done with search, you can either cancel out of it or you can swipe back down. The second thing is the hidden screen at the bottom. You know, if you swipe down from the top, you get the weather and your calendar. But if you swipe up from the bottom, you get a new control panel. The top row of buttons, you can get to Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, Do Not Disturb mode. Uh, you can change the brightness of your screen. You can access your music player, which is uh, used to be you could just get from any screen, but now you just pull up from the bottom. Uh, you can turn on AirDrop and Apple TV. And then the last row of buttons uh, are some apps that you might use frequently, like the flashlight, countdown timer, calculator, and camera. An important privacy setting, if you'll go into settings and then go to privacy, and then scroll down to advertising at the bottom. This gives you a chance to turn on limit ad tracking. This means that it won't target personal ads to you based on your personal information. Uh, so you do want it on so that it does turn green. That way your personal information isn't shared with Apple and its advertisers. Uh, and that's in the settings and in the privacy settings. One improvement in Apple Maps is night mode. So if you are using it to plan a route, if, if, it, if the uh, clock uh, knows that it's nighttime, you'll see that once you start the route, it'll automatically go into night mode and everything's darker. And so it's easier on your eyes. You're not getting this bright screen in front of you as you're trying to navigate. If you go into Safari, and you have multiple pages open, as I often do. Uh, you can hit the X in the upper left corner of each page, or you can simply swipe each page to the left, and that will get rid of those pages. Simple and easy. And then the last thing is, if you want to quit out of apps or force quit out of them, uh, you used to have to do this fancy procedure before, but now all you have to do is double tap on the Home button, and all you have to do is just swipe up on an app. And that's a quick way to close down apps. And those are my tips for iOS 7. I hope you enjoy.